What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is on how to install Homebrew on your 11.4 3DS or 2DS console. Now this is getting a little bit tricky as Nintendo are patching most of the vulnerabilities and exploits in the new and upcoming updates but there is one major flaw in 11.4 and also they were available in the older firmware updates as well and that is Cubic Ninja. Cubic Ninja is a 3DS title that has a major exploit in it and allows you to scan QR codes to gain access to full homebrew. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the requirements are obviously Cubic Ninja itself so if you can get it from a store maybe online or from a friend it's quite rare but you need Cubic Ninja and obviously a 3DS or 2DS console. So on your 3DS the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead into system settings. Once inside here you'll see four settings like so what we're going to do is click on data management and inside here we're going to click on micro SD management now if it does ask you to set it up then be sure to type in a username and password it can be whatever you like I've just set it as spine jockey and the password is 1841 once you have that set go ahead in the description below to the homebrew launcher page scroll down a little bit and you'll see preparing your SD card now what we want from here is the homebrew starter kit which is highlighted in blue so go ahead and click that and save it to a desired location I'm going to save it to the desktop like so scroll down a little bit further and you'll see other app forward slash ropping payload all you want to do is simply type in the firmware number on your console now I do have a new 3ds console but this also works for the old one so type in new and then select the exact firmware number that you have and the region at the end once you've done that we can go ahead and rename this file to other app.bin this is very important otherwise this will not work at all so be sure to copy that like so and hit save so now what we want to do is simply go over to the file manager and go to network and you should see 3ds in the list of devices if we double click on this it will prompt us for a username and password simply type that in and hit ok now we can go ahead inside of our micro SD card and you should see a Nintendo 3DS folder all we want to do is drag and drop other app.bin and the starter folder we can go ahead and go inside here until you see two files we're going to drag and drop 3DS folder and the boot.3dsx file also in the root of your SD card once the process is complete you can go ahead and go over to ninja hacks that will also be in the description below so simply click on that and then scroll down a little bit until you see the firmware also similar to the homebrew launcher page simply type it in again if you don't know what this is then go over to system settings and you'll find out what your firmware number is and be sure to select the right region for mine it is Europe so mine is E so back onto your 3ds console all we want to do from this page is click close put cubic ninja in the console and simply load that game press a go down to create and then click on QR code now once inside here you'll see scan QR code so simply click on that and then you'll get a screen that looks like this all you're going to want to do is make sure that you get it aligned it will freeze and the bottom screen will remove the text at the very top click on next click back on the 3ds click on the camera again and then do the exact same thing 16 times once you've done that you can go ahead and press b press b once again and now all you want to do is hit a on qr code now instead of opening the qr code now it should load the homebrew launcher as you can see on the screen we have ninja hacks and it successfully loaded the homebrew launcher on your 3ds or 2ds console now the qr code scanning can be a little bit tricky so bear in mind that you do do it correctly and if not then just reset the process but once you've done all 16 QR codes you should see the homebrew launcher on your console so that is pretty much it guys I hope I've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all the good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one peace